Hello, my name is Christopher Leppholz, and this is the FY23 Q4 Development Kickoff meeting, AMA pre-video. This is for November 16th and 17th of 2022. And I'd just like to thank everybody for their hard work this quarter in Q3, as well as looking forward to Q4. At a high level, uh, we've had an incredible amount of activity and velocity. And because of that, there's going to be several of these slides where there will be a lot of words and links. And I encourage everybody to look at those. Um, but they will not necessarily be all highlighted in this uh, pre-video presentation. First off, uh, it just happened earlier today. Uh, we had a CEO quarterly kickoff. It's the first one uh, that we've done, and uh, it's really great to see. And I encourage everybody to watch the video that Sid put together around that presentation. It's really good. It provides a high level of direction for the company as well as where we're headed. And hopefully these uh, this video will also help in uh, blending with uh, that, that to show how we map to our overall uh, vision for the company. For new team members, I've included Q1 highlights as well as uh, Q2 highlights uh, for those quarters. I'm not gonna necessarily go over those as much, but I encourage everybody to look at that. That'll give them better context on what has occurred in the first part of this fiscal year. Q3 highlights is uh, where we'll start uh, talking about uh, our accomplishments. Uh, we've made 41 external starts uh, and have done 82 for the year. So in the Q3, we effectively doubled the number of amount of starts we had relative to the first part of the year. This was part of our plan was to grow our hiring to an effective rate uh, late in the year. And uh, this follows it. We've also hired two interns as well in re, uh, restarting the intern program. Our main, a lot of our focus has been on the cross-functional initiative at RAMP for our, though we have lots of other important initiatives going on as well in the, in the organization. Uh, that's taken a lot of in management time as well as engineering time, working on making sure that we fix up existing security vulnerabilities, as well as looking at new scanning and other cap capabilities. We recognize that we had some maintainership challenges uh, with our with our overall health of our, 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 um, our project. And uh, we've redefined how we measure maintainership. We basically moved to a healthy and unhealthy state for any given repo within the project itself. And we've redefined how to become a maintainer to make it easier for folks to become maintainers. Because of that, we've increased our overall maintainership by 15% in the quarter. But we still have a lot of work to do associated with that. We've revamped our cross-functional process and integrated it. We're starting that in Q4. Um, that's, been, that's been a work in progress this year. And we've also continued to burn down S1, S2 impacting issues uh, for migration of pajamas components, uh, which has been an important, also an important initiative this year. Based on the culture and feedback, we've revised our department mission and vision. We recognize that we weren't blending enough of what's going on at the top level in the company and the company initiatives to what's being done for folks on a day-to-day -day activity. This is an attempt to work on that, to better explain that, communicate that. So if you haven't read the department's mission and vision, I encourage you to go back and reevaluate that. Uh, we'll be uh, also looking at this as we move into Q4 associated with that. We've supported company initiatives around both Div and Mac and uh, been pretty successful at that. Uh, and then as far as uh, specific team initiatives, uh, I'd like to call it a number of them that have been highlighted by various uh, sub-department leaders. Analytics, we've released the Tracker SDK to get customers looking at that new product area. In uh, fulfillment, we've done a data re-architecture as well as updated our system to better align to give a better uh, consistency as well as seeing a source of truth in some areas that'll give a better customer experience. That's the overall goal is to get a better customer experience with onboarding. Uh, those initiatives help to make that more uh, easy to do and more reliable. Geo-replication has reached complete maturity. Uh, you're gonna hear us talk a lot about best in class in the coming year. And uh, that is important to kind of recognize that uh, when you hear about that right now, at least in my mind, as we go to uh, more mature, maturation in our various product areas, that's going to help us to become the best in class because most companies, they actually do hit uh, better maturity uh, when, when, uh, the, when, when their product is considered to be one of the best. We've 
published a blueprint around pods proof of concept. If you're an engineer working in the organization and you want to think about architectural decisions, I encourage you to look at blueprints and how those are done. It's a good way to communicate how we're thinking about things associated with that, as well as the demo videos that are associated with that. After decomposition, we also were able to uh, reduce the database. Um, and this has led to uh, basically a better op SaaS operation cost. It looks like we've really done a great, great job associated with the 41%. Um, kind of a little bit of a post uh, mortem on the uh, uh, um, on the decomposition, we really have seen effectively our reliability improve tremendously. We are not dealing with operational issues on a regular basis. We are still dealing with operational issues, I should say, but we are not dealing with uh, SEV2 or SEV1 operational issues on a regular basis uh, uh, because we've increased our reliability associated with that. We've also opened up a development director uh, shadow program uh, to community contributions. So that's, uh, and those in the underrepresented groups, so that's a great, great initiative that has been kicked off by Wayne Haber. And uh, we recently passed through 3 billion CID CD, CD builds, uh, which means that uh, We've really hit another milestone associated with uh, our, 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 our op stage, uh, which is awesome to see. And uh, that group has continues to focus on scaling because of that, because we were in the knee of the, the hockey stick associated with that. And that's our Q3 highlights that I'm going to highlight associated with that. Again, there are more there. Q4, we're still on board to have lots of activity, lots of ambition, and lots of velocity. So we'll continue to work on our fiscal planning, our uh, fiscal planning and, and growth for FY24. Uh, that's a key, a key important part is that we continue to show how we're, we're meeting the business needs associated with that. We have an extremely aggressive uh, number of starts that we would like to try to do in Q4. We're at 40. We're right now at 13, so we're a little behind uh, relative to that. Uh, we have the end of year reviews associated with that and talent assessment pro process. We'll focus on ERG hiring at the EM level uh, so that we can uh, continue to focus on uh, diversity. Fulfillment is going to move from completing two key initiatives to four key uh, initiatives now that they've uh, worked on both the architecture as well as, uh, as the design associated with that. A Fed ramp moves into the milestone of uh, basically assessment of RAR and the remediation associated with that. We've come up with a new MR rate and we'll continue to focus on our velocity as we uh, onboard the number of folks associated with this. And we'll continue to focus on maintainership because we have a number of unhealthy uh, core areas. These are any areas of the product where we have more than 100 MRs associated with it um, that we'll do that. And then for best in class, we'll focus on several areas, uh, both looking at competition gaps as well as resolving customer impacting bugs and then uh, improving uh, some specific areas, both in ops and SEC uh, associated with that. There'll be more associated with that. That won't necessarily be at the visibility of the, the VP of development. Uh, I encourage everybody to talk to their team members about what they're doing in best in class um, associated with that. And then we'll have the normal uh, activities that kind of go into Q4 around uh, um, MR rate effectiveness, but as well as team ops training. I put it at top of mind. I encourage everybody to look at that as well. Um, uh, I'll just say that uh, this includes some of the more daily activities that I do as VP, uh, but it also obviously has many themes that are kind of listed as part of our Q4 plans because our OKRs are best aligned to activities that we view as important as both of the company and the department level. Q3 OKR results were really strong and increased AR. We were at 90%. Um, uh, felt really good to uh, both get uh, Fed ramp ready as well as fulfillment activities, uh, making good progress there. In maturing the product, we were a little lower at 80%, though still extremely strong. Uh, areas of uh, strength were both in maintainership as well as in, uh, in uh, the supporting the geo efforts associated with uh, disaster recovery. Um, we we didn't make quite as much progress both in SUS and in cross-functional uh, activities associated with that. And then for great team, we were really strong as well at, at 90%. Uh, we effectively revamped our, our uh, for based on the culture and feedback, we revamped our mission vision, as well as uh, continue to hit uh, the goals around both hiring back and uh, diversity. 
Q4 OKRs, and I'll add the link uh, for Q4 OKRs uh, to here that are listed in Ally, but I've highlighted them here. Uh, pretty much follow what we've talked about as far as our plans, uh, both fiscal planning uh, associated with that, hiring uh, is an important part, uh, finishing up talent assessments uh, based on that, and then focus on uh, ERG, ERG, like I said, ERG, ERG hiring as I previously just described, and then uh, continue to focus into fulfillment efficiency and FedRAMP, looking at the new MR rates associated with that and then the best-in-class focus associated there. Those are all important things that we'll continue to look at associated with that. That's it for the uh, pre-video call. I, I encourage everybody to think about questions that they might want to ask. And uh, the one thing to notice that we did do this in two sessions, one APAC uh, friendly, which is later today, US time, and then uh, an additional one on uh, Thursday morning for uh, those in EMEA and the U.S., uh, the, mostly the East Coast. Thanks for everybody's time, and I encourage everybody to ask questions and have a good discussion. Thank you.